you, Tim, for that very kind introduction. You know, it is a privilege for me to be here today with all the groups that are here, but particularly with all my strong, proud, and united brothers and sisters from the biggest, baddest, and boldest union there is, the Labor's International Union of North America. As I look out in this crowd today, I see Labor standing shoulder to shoulder with Netroot activists, with Green Job Advocates, with members of Congress, with the local elected officials, and with business leaders and community activists. Brothers and sisters, we all have a common goal, a goal of putting men and women back to work, building this country, building our middle class, and leaving a positive legacy behind for future generations. But nearly four years after the I-35 bridge tragedy, we are still nickel and diming a $2.2 trillion infrastructure problem. If you look back on history, as one of the other speakers said, Democrats and Republicans stood together and worked to give our country the best roads, the best bridges, and the cleanest drinking water there is. But today, we're a long way from that. Today, unemployment in the construction industry is 16.3%. Almost 1.4 million construction workers out of work. We've all heard about the bridge to nowhere, but there are plenty of bridges to somewhere that are de deficient and obsolete. One of those bridges to somewhere stood behind us nearly four years ago. How many more bridges to somewhere are we going to let collapse before we do something? These asshole teabagger extremists in Washington, D.C. trust fund, they want to gut it and cut investments in our infrastructure. Their policy is anti-jobs, their policy is anti-investment, and their damn policy is anti-American. What we need today is a six-year highway bill like the one that Senator Barbara Boxer from the great state of California has called for. A bill that would address our needs, ensure America's greatness in the 21st century, and create jobs. You know, like Keith and like Senator Cardin, I get tired of listening to this bullshit rhetoric in Washington, D.C. Because, you know, we're smart. Workers are the smartest people that there are. We know the American Society of Civil Engineers says that we have a $2.2 trillion problem. And I've never heard any clown in D.C. ever debate that. 27% of the bridges in this great country, our country, are functionally obsolete, structurally deficient. The average age of our bridges in this country, they were built to stand for 50 years. The average age of our bridges in the United States of America is 43 years old. We have wooden pipes, water pipes, in many parts of this country today. And 36% of our major urban highways are stretched beyond capacity. And here's the one I know that Keith and Ben understand more than anybody else. China spends 10% of their GDP on infrastructure, and in the United States of America, the greatest power that there, there is, with the greatest people that there are, we spend less than 3%. So who's full and who? I say, let it, you know, in Washington, we need friends like Keith and Ben and a lot of the Democrats. These teabaggers need to get their head out of their ass and see the real world and invest in America's future. We need to ask ourselves, was the collapse of that bridge behind us a wake-up call or the beginning of a great American tragedy? And I know what I'm saying is dire, but I think we all are here because we understand that it's dire. And I'll tell you why I believe, as president of the Labor's International Union, why we're going to be successful. Because who you've heard from today, we've, we've got activists from all over the net roots, uh, the net roots nation that is here in Minnesota. Uh, it is going to be there with us in every step of the way. When you got champions like Keith Ellison and Ben Cardin, 200 individuals in Washington, D.C., I've never been to their office. And I never will be to their office. Won't mean I won't meet with them. And you know why I won't be? Because you know where the hell they're at every time there's a fight for working men and women in this country. Those two in Washington, D.C. are kicking ass and taking names. And Mayor Ryback and Mayor Coleman, I've heard the great work that you do here in these great cities and in this great state. And Van Jones, a great friend, I'll tell you, a real patriot, somebody that his whole history, his whole career has been about fighting for working men and women. 
We have guys like Terry Healy and Jim Brady. Terry's a vice president with us, and Jim is the head of the district council that fight tirelessly day in and day out. But what we're going to do is, is, is take the Net Roots Nation. We're going to take the community groups that are here, the contractor associations, the elected politicians at the state and national level, and we're going to join together like we have in the state fights. Because I know the bloggers and tweeters and the YouTubers that are here, you have helped us in the fight in Wisconsin against that clown, that jerk off Scott Walker, and in the other states. And you have helped the American labor movement and working people throughout this country to spread, to spread the message of what's going down. And what's going down is they're trying to take America down, they're trying to take working people down. And I know through the, this coalition, the strength of this coalition, that we won't allow that to happen in Wisconsin and Ohio. We won't allow it to happen in Minnesota or throughout this United States of America. Because, brothers and sisters, the most valuable asset that we have in this country, with all due respect, is not Wall Street. It's not corporate America. The most valuable asset we have in this country is working men and women. So let us band together, let us stick together, and let our voices today be heard not only here in this great state, not only throughout the Midwest, in Washington, D.C., and across this land, that we are going to fight like never before, like we're fighting in Wisconsin and Ohio and all the other battleground states. We're going to fight that hard to make sure that we pass an infrastructure bill that puts America back to work. We are America, not them. We are. This is our cities, this is our state, and this is our country, and by God, we're going to take it back by storm, brothers and sisters. So I leave here with all the groups that are here today, all together as one because we are one, and this is one fight that we're going to win together, brothers and sisters. So let us stand together. Let us fight together and let us win together, not only for infrastructure, but let's be radical in our approach. We need to be radical when it comes to the fight for workers' rights, for humans' rights, for civil rights, for infrastructure jobs, and the right to put people back to work again. And I know that we will do it. So let us stand together, let us fight together, and let us win together to change the course, the direction, and the destiny of our unions, of our movement, and of our country. God bless all of you, and God bless the United States of America.